This is Blue Tea Support, a knowledge base to help you have a better experience with Blue Tea. Today I'm going to walk you through how to charge the EB3A. EB3A packs a 268 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery and 600 watt AC pure sine wave inverter. It's also capable of 430 watt fast charging, making it an ideal option for travel. EB3A supports seven charging methods, namely AC, solar panel, car, generator, adapter, AC plus solar, and AC plus adapter. Simply plug the EB3A into a wall outlet and it starts charging. This end goes to the AC input port. If you want to recharge EB3A via generator, just do the same. In your Blue T app, you can select three different charging modes, standard, turbo, and silent. Apart from that, other charging requires additional accessories, which you can get from Blue Tea's official site. First, unfold the solar panel. Then, connect it with the DC input cable. And plug the other end into the DC input port. By the way, you can also connect an adapter to this port to charge the EB3A. After an hour or so, EB3A will be ready for your adventure. When we're driving, connect the EB3A directly to the vehicle's cigarette lighter port using this car charging cable. When we start our car, EB3A begins to charge. You can also charge EB3A through AC and DC input ports simultaneously. This allows for a maximum 430 watts input, reaching 80% capacity in less than 40 minutes. You can plug in the AC and solar panel together. Also, it's possible to connect AC and the T200S adapter simultaneously. That's all for today. Please follow us for more videos and let me know if you have any questions or ideas. Thanks for watching and see you next time.